Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This is to go through the screens options on your RadioMaster TX12. Now this is quite useful because you don't have widgets on the TX12 because the screen is too small, but we can set up so that we can get readings on a, a specific screen on the radio. So in other words, we could have a look at our RSSI. Uh, you know, if we want to do a range test, we could walk away uh, from the model and look at our radio and see what the RSSI is. So let's switch over to the TX12 and I will show you how this works. Now let's take a look at the screens or the display window on the TX12, which I think is really useful. I'm going to hit the model key and we're going to go across with our right page button. And we're going to first go into... The telemetry page, Now I haven't discussed this yet, but if we have a telemetry receiver, we need to go to dis click discover new sensors and then this sensors will pop up and then you say stop discovery. So there are the four sensors that are available on the uh, FreeSky RX SR receiver. So once you've done that, you're getting your telemetry through and the most obviously the most important one is this RSSI one. Now we do page forward. Now we can come to the display window. Now in here, if we push enter on the first screen and go numbers and then enter and then go down, we push enter again. Now we can scroll right to the end until we get the RSSI. So let's go and we need to click the RSSI without a plus or minus. Okay, and then we can move over and let's say, oops a daisy, let's go back push enter and then we're going to go to the telemetry and let's put the TQLY in and then just out of interest let's just go down push enter go to the telemetry options and we're going to put the um, highest telemetry that we had and the lowest telemetry figure let's just go okay lots of buzzing and, the, and there, and we push enter. Now, if we push return, return, and then we go to our normal window. We can't see anything, but if we push telemetry, up they pop. So there you can see the RSSI, the highest RSSI, and the lowest. So if I try and cover up the antenna, you can see the RSSI is dropped there. And then if I uncover it again, you can see, but it remembers the lowest and the highest one. So that's quite a nice feature so that you could um, do a range test by looking at this uh, on your screen because you can't as far I'm going to push return you can't get the RSSI to come up on the front screen as far as I understand but that is cool you can do it there so that's quite quite a nice feature um, that you can then set up so that you can, can see your telemetry readings on this window and of course you can set up um, multiple windows so if you go in model page across you can set up four windows there. So you could set up screen two, screen three and screen four and have different uh, readings coming on that if you had more than eight telemetries that you wanted to view. So I think that's a, a very useful, let me come back out again, very useful little feature. Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you really enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel and if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you and please share this video with your friends and if there's any other way I can help you out with the TX12 please let me know in the description and I will try and produce a video for you uh, for the problem that you're trying to solve. Thanks for watching, happy flying, bye for now, bye bye. <laughs>